Hi friends, this is Aishwarya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. The topic that we are going to look today is Logarithms Part 1. So in this part, we will be covering on the basic concepts of logarithm and then the simple problems following to that. The main formula in logarithm is log ax is equal to m. So how to solve it? Simplifying is nothing but you take a here, a becomes the base and m becomes the power which is equal to x. So this a goes here, m becomes a power and we are equating it to x. So what are the problems following that? So they will give you 3, 4 is equal to 80, 81. So now we have to showcase that in log. So how do we do it? Log 81, 3 is equal to 4. So which is nothing but, now if you substitute in this formula you will see. So 3 power 4 is nothing but 81. 3 power 4 is nothing but 81. So how we will write this? Log 81 to the base 3 is equal to 4. Similarly, now we are going to represent this. So how are we going to represent this? Log, put the 1000 next to it, then the 10 comes in the base equal to 3. So how to recheck it? 10 power 3 is equal to 1000. So which is similar to a power m is equal to x. What are the simple other formulas which you should be aware of while solving the logarithm sums? Log a into xy which is nothing but this multiplication becomes an addition here. So log a x plus log a y. Similarly log a x by y becomes this division becomes a minus here. So log a x minus log a y. And similarly log 1 to the base a is equal to 0. And here we know that this n which is in the power can be moved here. So that can be written as n log x to the base a. So let's solve a couple of simple sum to understand this concept better. So the first sum that they have given is log 1 by 343 to the base 7. So how is 1 by 343 can be written? 343 is nothing but 7 power cube. So 1 by 7 cube. So this can be taken on the top like 7 7 power minus 3. Now both of these are same. So the value of x is nothing but minus 3. So once you simplify log 1 by 343 to the base 7 is nothing but the value minus 3. Let's solve another sum. So they have given log 0 0.01 to the base 100. So how can 0 0.01 be written? 1 by 100. So 100 if it goes on the top log 100 100 power minus 1. So the value is minus 1. So once you solve log 0 0.01 to the base 100, the value is nothing but minus 1. So the next sum is very simple. It's a direct sum. As you know, log x to the base x is equal to 1. Both the values should be same. Then the value is equal to 1. So both are same here. So value is nothing but 1 here. So let's solve a couple of other sums. So the next question that I have asked is log x to the base root 8 is equal to 10 by 3. Find the value of x. So as usual what we are going to do root 8 to the power 10 by 3 is equal to x. So how root 8 can be written? 8 power 1 by 2 to the whole power 10 by 3 equal to x. How can 8 be written? 8 is nothing but 2 power 3. We already have 1 by 2 nothing but 3 by 2 to the whole of 10 by 3 is equal to x. Now these can be multiplied. So 2 power 3 by 2 into 10 by 3. So x is equal to 2 power 5 which is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. So 2 2 is 4, 4 is 8, 8 is 16, 32. So the value of x is nothing but 32. So let's solve this another sum. So they have given log 75 by 16 minus 2 log 5 by 9 plus log 32 by 243. We have to simplify it. So how this 2 log 5 by 9 can be rewritten? So write the other things as such 75 by 16. This can be written as log 5 by 9 the whole square plus log 32 by 243. So 5 square is 25 and 9 square is 81. So all these things can be clubbed together like we know that whatever is we are adding can be multiplied. So 75 into 16 into 32 by 243. As this is in a negative form we know we have to take the reversal of it which is nothing but 81 by 25. 
so once you cancel it 3 2 3 2 okay so the value that log 75 by 16 minus 2 log 5 by 9 plus log 32 by 243 can be simplified to log 2 so what did we do in this case so as such we wrote the first and the last part of the question here the 2 log 5 by 9 can be written as log 5 by 9 the whole square so whole square is nothing but 25 by 81 as we explained in the basic concepts that whatever is to be added is to be multiplied and whichever is in negative to be divided that's what we have done here so we have taken log in common both of things are in addition so as such we are writing it by multiplying it here the case is in negative so what we do we take the reversal of it because we are dividing it so hence it becomes 81 by 25 once you solve it it becomes log 2 so in the first part of the logarithm we saw the basic concepts and as well as the problems followed by it in the future videos we will be solving much tougher problems that falls under the logarithm concept so if you are a person who is looking for a job kindly register on freshersworld.com like this video subscribe to our channel thank you <laughs>